At $105 before taxes, Street Fighter VI Ultimate Edition feels like robbery. Hey guys, Vaughn here. So this being YouTube in 2023, I have to say like, share, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and comment below because if I don't say this up front, nobody will, and this video will be buried by the flawless algorithm. Well, I fell for it. I went ahead and I bought Street Fighter VI, even though I didn't like what I saw beforehand, pretty much just to prove my point. And I didn't just buy the basic edition, which is at a reasonable $60, nor the deluxe $85. No, I went with the ultimate $105. Hey, what can I say? I wanted to stream Cammy's story mode in a classic leotard on opening day. And since I'm in that deep, I may as well get my money's worth, you know, stream the world tour mode. You can watch installments of that on Twitch. I'll be doing nightly and uploading the next day on YouTube. But did that grant me any special purpose? perks, any privileges? No, it gave you a few drive tickets, a few extra drive tickets, which is the meaningless earnable currency in Street Fighter 6, which can only buy you lesser aesthetics for your created player. And now some people are saying you weren't quite right in having to buy all of the costumes because you can technically earn them with some grinding and world tour for now. But if you bought the Ultimate Edition, don't you feel like that should have included all of the unlockables in this case, all the buyables at launch? Neither the Deluxe nor Ultimate Edition of Street Fighter VI come bundled with fighter coins, the actual currency, real world currency converted into Street Fighter currency, which is used to quickly unlock these items. And from the appearance of things, we'll also be able to purchase characters as they become available. And so without a fortuitous Chipotle collaboration, I would not have been able to night one play as Cammy in her hot girl outfit. And I foresee many a new outfits for our fighting grounds characters. When all is said and done, we'll probably have 10 premium outfits per character. Now let's be generous here and say that each of these upcoming outfits is at that 50 fighter coin price and in buying one you unlock all of its color variations. With five American dollars buying 250 fighter coins with limited opportunity to earn these in game it's going to be very pricey completing Street Fighter 6. And surely everyone who bought Ultimate Edition feels duped at this point. I can't speak for the other platforms. I'm an Xbox simp, as they're saying in the comments, but the description for what I purchased was openly vague. Oh, but it said right there, it's plain English, is it? Because the outfits I purchased are not for anyone I'm choosing, it is for upcoming characters yet to be released. But even if we say that I misread this, what exactly is ultimate about this ultimate edition? Wouldn't this be the edition of a game many years post launch that included all the content that would ever be released? released. So alongside the year one fighter pass, I'm going to get the four characters that would be included with the deluxe edition. I'm also buying $20 in costumes, which have yet to be revealed. There needs to be some pushback here, guys. I see myself as a consumer advocate. I gave Street Fighter 6 a negative review and I stand behind that. And I'm only getting more upset as I play it. And I experience Capcom's new low in greed. Hey kids, an ultimate edition that includes nothing but promises. And so once again, I will take that initiative on behalf of the gaming community. I have a buddy who is an entertainment lawyer. We're going to look into a class action lawsuit. I believe that Capcom was intentionally misleading with their title and description of this purchase. And in the very least should attempt to make good by depositing fighter coins in the coffers of players who bought the ultimate edition. Street Fighter 6 sets a dangerous precedent. Do you really want a future where a full retail price game has promised down the line content and microtransactions equivalent to a free to play title thank you for watching my son's youtube station it's not for everyone but he tries maybe if you bought some merch below he'll eventually get good at the youtubing <laughs>